Hey guys, welcome back. So today I'm going to be doing my empties for, this is for the last couple of months, um, but I thought that I would compile it all together and I would do a video on it and show you guys what I've been using, what I've been loving, and if I've repurchased it or not. So I have quite a lot. So let's jump straight into it. So I will start off with a little bit of skincare. So I actually went through the Sephora Triple Action Cleansing Water. Love this stuff, super easy. It's just like Bioderma, just the Sephora brand. Um, this is the medium, uh, the medium shade. It's gonna be a good video. This is the medium size and I didn't go through it too quickly, surprisingly. I go through Bioderma like it is crazy, just like, it's not even funny how quick I go through it. And I, it is a little bit more expensive than the Sephora one. This size, I think from memory, is $16. Um, and I usually pay $30 for Bioderma. So definitely loving this and will definitely repurchase it. Um, also, I went through a moisturizer. This one is by Clinique. This is their Moisture Surge. It is that really pretty baby pink color. I really enjoyed this, even though it is um, more so for, or it's more of a gel texture. So it. Seems like it'd be more so for drier skin because it is part of their um, moisture surge range. The gel formula is actually better for your oilier skin. So I am combination to oily skin and I found this worked an absolute treat for me. I really enjoyed it and would definitely repurchase it. Of course, I have backups upon backups upon backups of moisturizer. And once I have gone through those, I will definitely consider repurchasing this one because I really liked it. A serum that I went through is one from Ulla Hendrickson. This is the Truth Serum Collagen Booster. This is beautiful. I am completely obsessed with anything that is vitamin C um, based and this is just incredible. This is something that I always recommend to my customers um, and I really, really do believe in how amazing this is. And it really did my skin a lot of good to it as well. It really did help brighten it. Um, I really felt like it uh, what's, what am I trying to say? I felt like it definitely brightened. I felt like it really helped with the, I guess, color of my skin, where it helped a little bit of the redness. I just truly, truly love this product. And again, like I said, I recommend it to everyone. It is awesome. It is, is again, the medium size. This is 30 mils. Um, you can also get a small size and a larger size. And I absolutely love this and would definitely consider repurchasing it. Again, I do have a lot of skincare backups just from work, from PR just me purchasing them there is a lot of backups and once I kind of go through some of them I'll definitely repurchase it um, I absolutely love this stuff though and would recommend it 110% okay quickly going on to cosmetics because there is a lot here so first thing that I went through was my it cosmetics CC cream if you guys remember I rave about this stuff all the time I absolutely love it it is one of my hands down favorite foundations the reason why I love it so, so much is that it not only has your SPF 50, but it's also half skincare. It's basically skincare with a tint. Um, it is incredible. It's anti-aging. It has your hyaluronic acid in it, your collagen in it. Um, and also it is completely, um, I believe it's all cruelty free. A lot of their products are vegan and it's just incredible. It's really um, moisturizing. It's great for anyone who has combination oily skin like myself. It's also really great for anyone who has drier skin. Anyone can use it, any age can use it. There is no discrimination against anyone with this particular product. And I just think the product is absolutely beautiful. Um, I've actually got a backup and I'm currently using it at the moment. Um, for reference, I do use the color medium and that is kind of like my go-to unless I am not fake tint then I will use light but this is definitely something that I again recommend to anyone who's asking for a newer foundation this is incredible and I would recommend you guys checking out um, it's just something that I think everyone needs to try because it is so different to any other foundation that I've tried it is medium to full coverage and I love it obviously <laughs> Two eyeliners that I have gone through. One is the Marc Jacobs Highlighter and Blacker. Again, you guys know I absolutely love this stuff. I go through it like it is just going out of fashion. And this is a gel liner that is completely waterproof. It does not budge at all. I am completely obsessed. I've got two backups. I'm using one at the moment. And this I like to use as either a smoky liner or a tight line with this every day. Um, I just love this so, so much. The eyeliners in this range are incredible. I think they're like 34 35 or $36, can't fully remember, but it's around that mark and it is incredible. I am so, so obsessed. If you guys are after a new eyeliner, definitely give this one a go. I remember I was raving about it in one of my recent favorites and I was just like going nutso on it. And I remembered after I was filming, I'm like, 
that was so weird like I just raved about an eyeliner for such a long time but it is incredible completely different to everything that I've tried before and I think that you guys definitely need to try it alongside with the Clinique pretty easy eyeliner I've lost the cap to this it fell and it's gone elsewhere who knows where it's gone as soon as I lose something it is just it's just gone. I've just got to come to terms with it. It's completely gone. So this eyeliner is incredible. Between this and the Kat Von D um, tattoo liner, they're definitely my favorites at the moment. Um, really, really easy to use. Super precise tip, really black, and there's just not much more to say about it, except that it is incredible, and it is definitely a hidden gem. Um, definitely um, recommend it if you guys are after a new eyeliner, and of course, I would definitely repurchase it. I went through a mascara and I'm almost out of another mascara. This one is the Marc Jacobs, the Velvet Noir. This I love. I love this mascara so, so much. If you guys like Too Faced Better Than Sex, you will love this one as well. It's kind of like that, but on steroids. Um, so it has that really nice kind of hourglass shape, just like the Too Faced Better Than Sex, except all of these are completely um, laser cut to... Uh, grab every eyelash that you have pretty much um, it is just an incredible mascara I've got a backup of this at the moment and of course I will definitely repurchase it once I go through that because I love this um, it's definitely one of my favorite mascaras at the moment I find that if I'm wanting a lot of volume um, and a lot of drama without wearing falsies then this is the mascara to go for I absolutely love it and again I recommend it to Okay, so some brow things that I went through. I went through three brow pencils, and again, I'm about to go through another one. So first one being my Benefit Precisely My Brow. This is my holy grail, my ride or die. This is what I use every day, and I just don't think I don't think anything's as good as it. I'm just going to say it. I think this is honestly the best brow pencil I think I've ever used. The color is just on point. I have it in my brows at the moment. I have two backups at the moment, and I'm going through one of them. Um, again, I will continually, con continually. <laughs> I will always repurchase it because it is fantastic. Now, I do find that these two are quite similar. I just don't think they're as good. Um, I don't know fully the reason why I don't think they're as good. I just think... I just think the Benefit one, because I'm so in love with it, I just don't think anything really, I guess, uh, it's just not as up to its standard of Benefit. And this is so crazy because the one is from Anastasia and it's her brow wiz and I really, really enjoyed it. I just think the color is a little bit darker than number two in Benefit and that is like my that's like my favorite color and I did use the color taupe or taupe however you pronounce it um, I did really really enjoy it and I would repurchase it I felt like I went through this really fast though um, now I will say as well with the brow wiz and the precisely my brow they're not actually supposed to be used with a whole brow it is supposed to be one of those pencils that are just to outline and maybe fill the tail just brought i um, just draw extra brow hairs in but you are supposed to use you know the brow wiz with the definer or with you know gimme brow or something Something like that to really fill in the front this is really just to help define the edges and filling it in just like the tail or a little bit that's why we go through them so quickly I went through this in like a month a month <laughs> it went so fast I was just like oh it happened way too quick so I would repurchase it but just with caution because it does I don't you run out of it really fast I was really really surprised but still really really great pencil not bashing it at all but I just like my benefit a little bit better I also went through the BH Cosmetics HD Brow Pencil. This I actually really, really love and I would definitely repurchase it. It's a lot more affordable than the Benefit and Anastasia and the color is pretty fantastic. I do use the color Blonde in this and it is exactly the same as the Anastasia. Um, pretty much the same as the Precisely My Brow too. Moving right along to another brow product. This is my favorite brow gel ever. Ready Set Brow by Benefit is literally the best brow gel. I'm not even kidding. I have tried so many brow gels in the market and there's a lot of them that I do love. I just think this is the best for really waterproofing your brows because that's what it does. It's a really great waterproofing brow gel. It does not move. I really find that I have to work to get my brows off at the end of the day, which really stands out to me because a lot of other brow gels don't do that. And I really love the brush on this as well. It's very unique. It has a flat paddle kind of vibe you know what I mean yeah very unique I really love it and again I would recommend it 110% over pretty much every other brow gel <laughs> Moving right along to powder. So I've actually gone through three powders. Two, again, from Benefit. This is, again, hands down, like, one of my favorite brow powders. Uh, brow powders. 
we've moved on for the brows, we're on to the face. This is one of my favourite face powders. <laughs> um, it is the Hello Flawless and I've gone through two of them and I still have a backup which I am savouring so, so bad. Um, but I do use the colour Champagne and again they are totally out, there's like nothing left in them which is so sad. Um, this one I actually, um, there's one of them that I totally smashed as well. Um, there's a, a few little crumbs in there but I've tried repressing it, it's just not gonna happen. So it is definitely an empty, would definitely repurchase those. And I also, again, went through another BH Cosmetics product. This is the Studio Pro Powder. This is fantastic. I really, really enjoy it. For the price, it is awesome. Um, and for color reference, I use the color 215, but I'm totally out. And it was, for the price, it is fantastic. I love BH Cosmetics um, makeup. It is just so affordable and the quality is awesome. Um, but definitely would repurchase this it is amazing. I finally, I say finally because I've had this for so long, I finally got through my Salil Tandy Chanel Cream Bronzer. I'm not even kidding. I've had this thing for the longest time. It's still got, okay, there is still some product in here, but it's gone completely gross and all dry. But seriously, this thing lasted me so long and I did have a backup of it. So I've opened that and I've started using it again and I've just remembered how much I love it. It is amazing. It just gives that really nice soft kind of bronzy glow. I am obsessed um, and Chanel is just so luxurious it is beautiful it is just like mm love this bronze and I'm sure if you've tried it you know how amazing it is as well. I also went through a primer. This one is by Makeup Forever. It is the step one and this is the smoothing primer. They've also got the mattifying primer and then they've got just like six other primers. There is one for every skin concern that you would ever have. Um, this is really nice if you like that silicone-y kind of velvety texture just like Benefit Professional. It's very similar um, and they are quite expensive I will say. A full size which is about this big is $58 um, but the small one actually lasted me a really long time. I was really, really impressed and I actually really enjoyed it and I would definitely consider repurchasing it. But I do have a couple of these silicon based primers so once I've gone through those, I'll consider repurchasing it. Okay, so two random things that I want to show you guys that I've gone through is the um, Lush Snow Fairy. This is from last Christmas. I savored this like it wasn't even funny. Like this is my favorite, uh, what is it called? shower gel. This is seriously my favorite shower gel. It smells so freaking good. It's not even funny and it only comes out like in Christmas time. I'm pretty sure I just got an email from their PR company saying that it's going to be like the July and Christmas, Christmas in July or whatever. And I think they're re-releasing this. So if I can get my hands on it in July, I will be stoked. I also went through one dry shampoo. This one is from Tony and Guy. I think I got this in a Bella box and I actually really enjoyed it. I mean, I'm really not fussy when it comes to dry shampoos. Obviously some work better than others. I found that this one did the job just fine. I would definitely repurchase it. Um, but from what I am aware, Tony and Guy is a little bit more on the more expensive side. But I mean, if it does the job, I don't mind splurging a bit, but this I mean, it seems like it did an okay job. <laughs> Makeup wipes, after makeup wipes, after makeup wipes, there's one more. I go through makeup wipes like it's not even funny, like it's going out of fashion. So the ones that I typically will always go for, these ones are just from Target. Um, they're like $2. I really, really enjoy the exfoliating one. These are awesome. Um, they have little nuts on the side. Even though it is exfoliating, I find it is quite gentle on the skin and it removes my makeup really, really well and they're only $2 each. I also go through these So Fresh, which you can pretty much get these anywhere. They are pretty much available in any kind of chemist. Um, you can get them at Cosmetics Plus, um, and they're super cheap. They're like $2.95 a packet again. They do really, really well. I've got two more packets at the go at the moment. Uh, I actually really like the uh, Milk and Honey one, probably the best. I don't know why, I just really, really like them. They all work really, really well, and they remove my makeup just fine. Okay, two higher end, higher end brands. Um, you've got Philosophy, these are the Purity Wipes. These are awesome, they're really, really big, and I found that they remove my makeup really nicely. I'll definitely repurchase those and also I've also been a lover of the Ulla Hendrickson face wipes the orange ones are my favorite um, but this is the green pack and it's the grease relief cleansing cloth this is one of the um, exfoliating pads as well now this does have um, your AHA so your alpha, alpha hydroxy 
acids. I think that's what it stands for. Um, yeah, really, really nice. I will say though that it did burn my eyes a little bit, but around the face it was totally fine. So just around this region, I just ignored. Um, but yeah, it did a really good job. And especially if you're oilier, you will love these. Face masks galore. So many face masks, it wasn't even funny. I've gone through so many face masks. It is just, it's ridiculous. So, oh, and there's another makeup wipe as well. Oh, and there is another eye makeup wipe by Tarte. These are awesome. These are the Maracuja wipes for eyes and I, they help remove waterproof makeup. I love these. I would definitely repurchase these and I really, really like the scent as well, just to, quick mention. But as for face masks, I went through so, so many. I really am not fussy with face masks. The only ones that I am fussy with is anything that is coconut scented. I find that my skin just doesn't really like the scent uh, or artificial scents of um, coconut. So anything that was coconut based, um, that is the only complaint that I'll ever have about face masks. But besides that, everything else was really nice. A couple of these Tony Moly ones, these were really nice. Um, I find they all do the same kind of thing. They're really hydrating. Some Daiso masks. You've got a ton of Sephora masks. Um, love this rose mask. This is amazing. I honestly will repurchase them time and time and time again. I've got two of those. Um, also, um, yeah, some more Sephora masks. You've got the pomegranate. Really, really enjoyed that as well. Um, oh, another, another mask, the rose one. Um, this is something that I don't hear anyone talking about but this is the sephora hand mask as well and i wrote down my thoughts on there so i'd remember uh, because i'm super efficient so i did write that i absolutely love them i remember that it made my feel my hands feel really really soft after it smells like baby powder um this is the avocado one they've also got uh i think two more and they've got a foot mask as well which i am yet to try um but this was really nice i really enjoyed it you literally just leave it on for like 10 15 minutes and your hands feel so so soft after um really great if you have any kind of really dry skin um it was actually really funny i had a girl come into work and she was like i'm diabetic and i prick my finger heaps and i want something to smooth my skin I'm like girl I'm like I'm diabetic too I'm like I feel ya something to bond over um but I actually found that it did a really good job of hydrating and it really helped with the dryness of my hands um also went through quite a few of these nose masks again from the Sephora range these did an okay job I mean really I don't have much luck with the whole blackhead situation but I still have like 50 billion backups of them just in case they work really well on Josh but not so much on me um but again these are like two bucks each so definitely gonna repurchase so I went through uh, three more masks. So this one is from Skin Republic. Um, again, vitamin C brightening mask. This one really did leave quite a nice shine on my skin, I remember. Um, so really nice and hydrated. Would definitely repurchase that. Um, this, oh my God. Oh my God, let me tell you a really quick story. So this is the um, face mask, the Manuka Honey. This is just from the Kmart brand. These, oh my God, this seriously saved my life. I had a really bad allergic reaction to um, one of the new L'Oreal cleansers. I don't know if you guys follow me on Snapchat or not, but you would have seen if you do that I had a really bad reaction. It went all up my chin, all up my cheek. And this is no joke, one of the only things that helped relieve that. And it really brought it down. It really calmed it down, Manuka Honey, if you don't know is super um, antibacterial, really hydrating and really nourishing. And this seriously is like a lifesaver. So I'm gonna get some more of these and just keep them just in case anything like that happens. But this was a lifesaver. And the last thing that I have is another mask from the Sephora range. This is the sleeping mask in the pearl formula. These are really awesome. They're really affordable. You get two uses out of one. It comes in this little pod and it's like a gel formula. Um, you pop this on like five, 10 minutes before you go to bed and you just sleep with it on. It doesn't leave any kind of weird residue. It's not weird or anything and you don't have to wash it off in the morning. Super easy. So if you want to do a face mask, it is really, really easy um, to do this. If you don't want to do a sheet mask, this is just super easy, really lazy. It's the same color as my hat. But that, guys, is everything that I have recently gone through. If there's anything that you saw in this video, please let me know and let me know what your thoughts are on them. Again, thank you guys so much for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. Thank you so much, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.